guys, so I have a new program for you and this program is going to be to help develop your strength. They're going to be short, fast workouts, but really intense. And they're for all those looking to bring up the level of their strength throughout their whole body, bring that core connection in, and just to become a better player in regards to strength in general in the body. It's pretty much all body weight. There may be some blocks used, but otherwise it's all body weight. So you won't need any equipment. It is for more intermediate practitioners, um, but we can show you some breakdowns for the beginner as well. So I hope you enjoy and let's get started. The first one I'm gonna ask you to do is come into high plank. We're gonna hold it for about a minute. I'm gonna get straight into it. Wrap your arms in, push up through your core, nice high back, shoulders down. If you're finding this difficult, just drop your knees, okay? Stay, <coughs> excuse me, stay in here. Shouldn't eat our hand. Stay in here for as long as you can. So we're aiming for around a minute. We've done about 20 seconds, okay? Keeping that core engagement, wrapping your arms in. Nice, strong core. Keeping on your shoulders down. Keep on breathing. We've got about another 20 seconds. It's not going to be exact minute. We're not going to do exact everything, okay? It's more about the feels. Don't let yourself sink down, don't let your shoulders come up. So we're going to do another 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, keep going, 5, remember you can bring your knees down at any time, 4, 3, 2, 1. Coming down, we're going to go straight into our locust pose, okay? So our locust pose is holding in this position. Taking your hands off and holding here. We're just going to hold it for a moment, okay, about 30 seconds. Feeling our core start to warm up. Feeling our back body start to warm up by lifting up through our glutes, through our hamstrings, through our upper, through our lower back, through our thoracic. And keep breathing for about another 15 seconds. Keep trying to lift, don't fall down. If you need to at any time, pop your fingertips on the ground. If you want to, you could also pop your legs on the ground. Keep your hands off. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Coming down. As I said, this is going to be fast and intense, okay? So if you're a beginner working that you come down when you feel like you can no longer hold it. You don't have to stay up the whole time. Another option would be coming onto fingertips, holding you up or keeping your legs down and just holding your upper body up. Or lastly, holding your lower body up. From here, we're gonna go into lotus legs, a lift back version. You're actually gonna have one leg forward, okay? You're gonna cross over. Now this is, again, a more advanced move. So for some of you, you're not gonna be able to do this yet. And if that's the case, I'm gonna ask you to go back to the previous position and work on that hold, okay? If you can do this, firstly, you're going to grab that foot and you're going to push down, okay? You don't have to get to the ground, you just have to push down. Secondly, you're going to grab the other one and from here, you're going to lift up and down, one. Up and down, two, you've got ten of these. Up and down, three. It's not a big movement, four, but it's a very dynamic and core strengthening cross body movement. Six, seven, very important for the back body, unilat unilateral, eight, so you know where you need to work. Nine and 10. So what we do to one side, we've got to do to the other. So crossing over, getting ready to grab that foot. If you want to bring yourself a little bit of a lift, Okay, grab the other leg. So exactly the same thing, lifting up and down. One, you can switch your foot on a little bit. Up and down, two. Pushing off the elbow or the forearm or the back of the arm, the other one, three. So exhale, inhale, four. Exhale, inhale, five. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, 
if you wanted to and you couldn't grab the foot, you could just do a lift without the foot, just so you know, in this position. Now these workouts, I'm doing one round with you. We're preferably going to do three rounds and they're short, fast, and intense, but they're going to really fatigue you. So, so be gentle on your body because they're really intense movements. Now, the next move we're going to do is sphinx and you're coming into your forearm plank. We're going to do 10 repetitions. So I'm going through this quite quickly because I want you to feel the burn. I don't want too much recovery. Wrap your arms in, fingers nice and stretched out, but gripping the mat a little bit. Keep your shoulders down. From Sphinx pose here, I want you to elevate up onto your forearm plank. One. Try not to let your hips touch the ground so that you're still working all the time. Two. Keep your shoulders down. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Now, when you come up onto your forearm plank here, ten, you're going to push up into extended plank. Keep your shoulders down, your hips in the line. Not too high, not too low, and you're holding here. La la la. <laughs> so wrap your arms around, feel the burn, feel the shake, feel the quivers, feel the way you're working. Try and bring it back to your core. I'm not bringing time into this too much because it's important for us to feel our body, okay? It's important for us to work our body, not just relying on goals all the time. Positions or times or reps, just moving through. Now I'm moving a little bit side to side, making sure I'm realigning everything. So 10 more seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, coming down. So you should really start to be feeling quite fatigued in your triceps. It's a very um, tricep oriented workout. Um, so by the third round, <laughs> I know that you will be feeling it. Always the first round seems to be a little bit of a surprise where sometimes we don't feel it as much, but I promise you, you will be feeling it by the end. Now we're gonna to go to a little bit of back body work into wheel while we've opened ourselves up with the locust. Now we're gonna do some wheel push-ups, 10, and then we're gonna do some wheel movements up and back where we are going from feet pressure to hand pressure, 10. Okay, so firstly the wheel push-up, Making sure you're ready if you need to. Pause the video and warm up your back a little bit more. Inhaling here and exhaling, pushing up. From here, you're gonna come down and up, one. Now it's not the biggest wheel you've ever done, two. But it's important that it's controlled wheel, three. Elbows come in, four, five, core is on, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Now I don't want you to come down. Rock to your hands, rock to your feet. Rock to your hands, rock to your feet. Two, three. We're building stamina here. Four, keep your arms wrapped in. Five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Slowly coming down. You can bring your knees into your chest if you need to, to just release any pressure. Now each time you go through this, you're going to get warmer, so hopefully your wheels will get deeper too, and you'll be able to have more movement. But remember, the first round is always starting off, so be gentle and compassionate as you move. We're going to come into your side plank and do 10 leg lifts from here. If you're more of a beginner, you can bring your knee down and do leg lifts. With the wheel, if you're a beginner, you can do half movements just so you know, or you can simply hold the wheel. Now, 
If you're doing the full version, you're also going to take your hand off onto your hip and lift. 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, I'm shaking, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We're going to roll over and we're going to do the other side. And then you only have two exercises left on round one. And then you will go on to complete the workout. Okay, so remember beginner can be here, here, or come into here, or here. Ten repetitions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten so we've only got two more exercises left this one is going to be from downward dog into dolphin to open up those shoulders but create strength and mobility at the same time because you're moving from position to chaturanga then you come back into your downward dog and you repeat okay so for a beginner, when you come into your chaturanga, you can pop your knees down when you're meaning to, and you can also bring yourself back through child's pose and have a rest before you go into the downward dog and repeat, okay? So from here, wrap your arms in nice and deep in the chest. Not too big a downward dog, so you have the movement as well. Then it goes downward dog, elbows down, chaturanga, and then downward dog. One, elbows down, chaturanga, chest up. Two, three, we've got 10 reps. Four, now beginners, you can come one down, two down. You can bring your knees down, come into chaturanga, come back through. And up five, okay? Just so you know, there's always versions or when you need to modify. This is okay to modify. It's better to do the correct technique. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Shoulder extensions in downward dog. This will help you to understand the utilization of straight arm scapular strength, lat strength, serratus strength, and also especially for handstands. So, an inversion of that lift up. Coming in, dropping down, coming up. One, it's only a small movement, but it's quite strong. Two, wrapping your arms in. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's day one. We have four days in total of this strength workout. It's there to be more of a sub into your training as well. So you'll still do your yoga flows or your workouts, but it will help with a bit extra kick in you to get you that strength that you're looking for. So I hope you enjoyed day one. And remember, two to three rounds is preferable. And have a great day. Ciao.